Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we will talk about the endangered giant flower that smells like a dead body. But why are scientists trying to save it? Flowers, by default, evoke the image of sweet fragrances and meadows. But there is a type of flower which is known for its putrid, rotten corpse smell and is now on the verge of extinction. You may be wondering why saving a stinking flower may be a big deal. But scientists are pushing for action to save this plant called the corpse flower. The Rafflesia, or corpse flower, as it is commonly known, has fascinated the scientific community for ages. It is famous for its odor of decaying meat, which the flower produces to attract its prey, flesh-eating flies. However, destruction of forest habitats in Southeast Asia has put the genus at the threat of extinction. This genus, as per The Guardian, has around 42 species and also includes the largest flowers in the world that are more than one meter across. As per the report, scientists have warned that all 42 species are under threat, 25 are classified as critically endangered, while 15 are endangered. Only one species of the genus, Rafflesia magnifica, is listed as critically endangered by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. Researchers want all the Rafflesia species to come under the protection of the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. A new study published in the journal Plants People Planet claims that over two-thirds of the Rafflesia flowers are not protected under the current conservation strategies. Dr. Chris Thorogood from the University of Oxford Botanic Garden, the author of this study that happens to be the first assessment of threats faced by these plants, said that the assessment highlights how the global conservation efforts geared towards plants, however iconic, have lagged behind those of animals. We urgently need a joined-up, cross-regional approach to save some of the world's most remarkable flowers, most of which are now on the brink of being lost, he added as quoted by The Guardian. Researchers warn that new species of these flowers are still being found and may be eradicated before they are even known to science. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.